Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're probably used to seeing Corey for these types of videos, where she asked me to step in and give my opinion and thoughts on what the house hunting process was like. If you guys haven't watched one of these before, these videos take place a little over a year ago probably from the time of me recording this. So we recorded at the time, we talked about doing YouTube and putting videos together then. We didn't, but we didn't want to lose this footage because a lot of you guys are probably going through the same thing that we went through. So I'm going to watch the video that Corey edited and I'll kind of jump in and out with my thoughts and what was happening at the time. Good morning. <laughs> you probably have all the settings so messed up. <laughs> You're twisting that thing like it was. No, I'm pretty sure I twisted it back. Yeah, I'm sure you remembered exactly where you twisted it. Yep. I just came over. Andrew was sleeping. I was resting my eyes just like you said you always do. You were, you jumped. <laughs> well, even when you're resting your eyes and someone gets up in your face, you would jump too. If I was sleeping. Why don't you try resting your eyes, and then I'll sneak up on you. Currently, focus. Oh, it's gone. Five forty-six. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yeah, take a rest. No, I said why don't you rest, and then I'll randomly sneak up on you at some point and see if you jump. You do do that. Mm, well, then you know why I did. But I was sleeping. <laughs> no, resting my eyes. Mm. I want you to hold the camera because I want to do this. I want them to see my outfit. I'm going to do a fit check. Oh, you got a green shirt on. Let's do you first. Wow. <laughs> now stand up and tell us where everything's from. <laughs> from my mom probably pants are from Express I bought those <laughs> belt I got this for Christmas it's Dockers I don't remember who got me this is it the one that turns yep um your dad or your mom Very I think adaptive Shirt is from Notre Dame. Got that from Coach Kelly himself before he switched. Did and you? Then my underwear is um, Lulu. Lululemon from my mom. Okay, my turn. Okay, what are you wearing? <laughs> This belt is functional. Oh wow, it's so zoomed in. <laughs> oh wow. Fit check. Fit check. Wow, it's so smooth. <laughs> Purse. Target. Cool. Shoes. Chelsea Booth on our website. Oh wait, the best part. Socks. That's Target. the best part? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, zoom in on them. They're getting oh, good. sorry. They're Irish four-leaf clovers with a hat and hard eyes. Those are definitely three leaves. What did I say? Four leaves. Yep. <laughs> You've never been good with numbers, though. <laughs> From Target. From Target. Jeans. Abercrombie. From Target. Abercrombie. Not doing favors for the cheeks. They're a bigger size than normal. Oh. Like, showing how you've slimmed down. I was feeling chubby when I ordered them. Oh, okay. Shirt. Central Catholic High School. Irish. Vest. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Underwear and bra. I almost said Target. Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> wow. Wow. Outfit of the day. How exciting. It's St. Patrick's Day. 
Happy St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna go to an Irish sports bar. My favorite. Cool. Uh, update on the House Chronicles. Still don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Still in the apartment. <laughs> but look, if you look behind Corey, there's a disc. Leave in the comments what you think that this disc was for. You've already said. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Alright, bye. See you later. Quick little what's up guys. Um, we are currently looking at a house. Sorry, I gotta grab my purse. We're not gonna tell you where it is. I almost just did, but you can see it's a little interesting. This is the front. So hold on, I'm coming! <laughs> Oh, it smells delicious in here. Smells <laughs> good. Oh, that's. Yeah, see, this whole front part is added. There's the normal garage. It was under the house originally. That's interesting. I think I saw in the pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I thought the same thing. Like that. Point in time, they open it up to make a bigger garage. Yeah. Actually, let's walk in here. Jesus. Kind of I will say, you'll see as the video goes on, but this was one of the houses that I feel like as soon as we walked in, it was a no to begin with, but you don't really want to waste your realtor's time by just showing up to a house and be like, okay, let's turn around. Because a lot of times we were scheduling tours for these places. The day that they listed, that afternoon. So I was at work, Corey was probably sleeping because she worked the night before, and I was like, schedule this place, it just got listed, it's in our price range, it's in an area that we want. You had to do it that afternoon, which you probably still have to do now, we just haven't looked in a while. All from their vehicles flinging it out? Uh, or if it's like, water coming in? Uh, it's kind of hard to, because at first I, I thought this was the basement, and I saw, like, you can see down here, same thing. This kind of looks like, so she said make sure, like, we don't let it out or whatever, but um, most of the time they hide. So this is something that we ran into a lot, which was a lot of the parts of the house were updated except for the kitchen and bathrooms, which is the most expensive part to update. So if you ever see somebody who's... Maybe they've been living there for a while. You can tell they kind of fixed things up, but didn't put effort into the kitchen and bathroom. That's because a lot of money is required to fix that type of stuff. So they're gonna do the stuff to spruce it up, make it look good for pictures, but realize that you're gonna have to spend a lot of money if you wanna get it to where you want it to be. Uh, my is that wallpaper? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. It does smell really good up here. Hey guys. I have a Christmas tree up still. That's funny. It's pretty. I think I saw that in the pictures. Yeah, you saw that right. There was just a bear rug on the wall. I have no idea how anybody would think that that's a good thing to leave up once people are going to look through your house, but to each their own, I guess. I have no idea if I'm talking more than Corey does in these videos. She'll find out when she edits later, but whenever we would go to a house and it was like a clear no, we're like, oh my God, how are they asking this price? How, you know, how do they expect anybody to want this place? That wasn't us being pretentious. We were being pretty open-minded people, believe me. And these houses would sell the next day. If it was a house that was really rough and they were way over asking, you're talking three days on the market maybe? Like the, the area that we are looking in is in very high demand and it was so easy for people to sell houses at such a crazy price that it was like, disheartening which led to us 
stopping looking for a while and getting the condo. This house was a no. It's like a freaking maze. Okay. <laughs> in there. So what did you think of the house? I think we wasted our time, but we've done that quite a bit in this <laughs> house touring adventure. All the power to the people who have this house, and for you guys, would not be my choice. So they are way at, over asking. <laughs> this is a 220 house, maybe. That's all right. We're going to a new one. We don't give up. <laughs> and it's two minutes from Andrew's work. <laughs> Which I'm not too fond of, but damn it, we'll do it anyways. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see you at the next one. Look at you. You hear that, Corey? Yeah, I'm zooming in on the cat. <laughs> he looks mean. She's nice. I mean, she'll attack you if you try to pet her, but she's nice. <laughs> hey. She's like, nope. Kitty, kitty. She says, I come with the home. There was a lot of cats in a lot of the houses we went to. <laughs> I am the the guardian. What is it? You're from Coco. What? What it? Oh, I can't remember. Wow, this kitchen school. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I love these lamps. It's yeah. Like behind the couch lamps. Man, you are. I mean, you're right. Your neighbor's guts. <laughs> Your neighbor's guts. Alleyway. Like this is a very common thing where they build a house in between two streets like this. Oh. And so then like the front of the house is on one street and then you have an alleyway that's shared with all the driveways and stuff. Right. Yeah, that is interesting. The layout of that house was really weird. Maybe like our realtor said it's more common in certain areas, but the front of your house would be on one street that was going through the neighborhood. And then the back street would be where all the garages were in the back it was it was like a long house it almost reminded me of probably what like city houses would look like which i don't know that for sure but <clears throat> it definitely was way different than what we were used to and at the time we didn't have hainer <laughs> yeah we didn't because it was the winter and um we knew we wanted a dog and the yard like is smaller than the yard we have now for our condo so there was no way that was gonna work. It was the most up-to-date house we had probably been to. Like you could tell younger people were living there. I think they had just had a kid and they were trying to upgrade themselves. So that was kind of a sign for us too because once we get married, I imagine we'll start having kids pretty quickly. So we weren't really looking at a house to sell that quickly. So yeah, that house was interesting. It was a different layout than any other house we had been to, but sadly, as you can tell, did not work. I wonder if we can fix this lighting. I look very pale in the sun right now. Um, also, I just got out of the shower, so don't mind how wet and crazy my hair looks. Okay. Uh, so, Andrew and I are about to go look at another house. It's been the most, this has been the most frustrating process ever like Andrew and I were talking and he was like everybody says that this is supposed to be so fun he's like nothing's been fun about this like it has been exciting and fun and like I get excited to see a house and then we put an offer on and then we don't get it and it's just like one how do people just have so much money like either they have a lot of money or they just don't care about being house poor and they're just gonna think about it later. I don't know. They're probably maybe just older than us and have, I don't know. But we're going to go look at this house. Again, it's in the neighborhood that I want, in the area that I want. And I was so <laughs> excited. I was talking to a friend of mine that I work with and her dad recently just passed away and he, just happened to be a realtor and she was comforting me and saying like my dad I'm gonna pray to my dad he was a realtor that he brings you guys the most perfect house and 
so I just keep thinking about that and it just like people are just so nice and you don't even like stop to think about like you're just so worried about your own problems and she obviously had this un unexpected loss and decided to take a moment to pray for me to her dad that she just lost and I just like started crying because <laughs> it was so nice and she did not have to at all um and that so yeah really excited to just go see this house and I was so excited I was like this, I really feel like this could be the one and then I got like a little like less excited I guess I can't think of the word like I don't know because so our realtor like texted us and said that they already had like 62 people like come and tour the house today and it's just like how is that even possible so 62 people we just have to hope that our offer is the best so we'll see I just it's just been a long more difficult process than we thought and I just really hope that our house comes so let's let's just yeah say a prayer I just got to the house but I also have another separate screen Drew I got him this ugly ass backpack but he thinks it's cool so he has no idea I'm about to walk up to the car show it to him <laughs> hello <laughs> he looks disappointed we're at the house and there's also three other groups here <laughs> how you feeling about what <laughs> yeah, we probably ain't gonna be getting it. I told them there's like three other groups here. Yeah, 62 people have seen it in the past two days. Yeah, I said that. There it is. So this house is what ended it all. I'm at only watching the beginning of it right now, so maybe we go over it more later. We might not. But yeah, this house, I'll, I'll wait a little bit more to explain as you guys see more, but I'll explain why it pretty much ended our house searching journey for the time being. <sighs> it's worth a try. <laughs> Let's give it our all. That's all. what I brought. <laughs> a picture of, it's St. John. It's supposed to be St. Joseph. Whatever. <laughs> I typed in house state and this came up. Oh my god. Well, I guess we'll put it in a cap. Put in their, we should put it in their mailbox. <laughs> Please. There's a lot of people in the street right now. Mm -hmm. Oh look, another person just showed up. <laughs> this girl's got a boot on, she's showing. Don't buy it. It's haunted. <laughs> the camera isn't open all the way, you recorded all of it that way. It doesn't look like it. It is. I know, but on the camera it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it did anything. Ugh. She's like, I literally, that lady, just, this lady right here, she just said, I literally live right there. We'll see. The competition. Someone's here with their parents? Yep. How do you know? I've been here for about six minutes and I've watched eight people walk into the house. <laughs> uh, Are you tapping your foot or something? Yeah. Oh. Is this another person? I'm turning right. Oh, like a big chicken. That's a rooster. 
All right, so looking forward, I'm obviously gonna need to explain a lot because we did not explain, or we didn't record in there because that house got listed that day and it was basically in the perfect area that we wanted. Specifically, Corey really wants this area. I saw the house when I was at work. We scheduled a tour that night. Normally when we were scheduling a tour, there was maybe one other couple there. Um, I don't know if there was ever more than two couples there, but at this house, there was probably no less than 40 people there the day that I got listed. So you can kind of tell that we're kind of like sighing and already down on it because we knew, like Corey mentioned, that somebody was basically going to, like money was not an option or money was not a problem. Let's just throw it away and get this house for whatever it takes. So we went through the house. Corey was absolutely in love with this house. Basically fit everything that we wanted, had a finished basement, had the backyard fenced in. I, it literally had everything that we had asked for. Um, they weren't asking an unreasonable price, which means that you have to go over that price. And when we sat down, or sorry, when we were going through the house, Corey was sighing a ton which is why this ended the house searching thing. I decided to put a stop to it basically because we were going through and Corey had already basically decided, I love this house, we're not getting it. And I like, I, like Corey mentioned earlier, that's terrible. It sucks to go through the house and be so doom and gloom. So many people had, when they were doing this, it was so much fun. They got to, you know, picture themselves in this house and love it. And we were picturing ourselves and we're depressed because we were looking at 40 other people go through the house at the same time. Granted, Corey and I are well off. We can do well on offers, but you also have to be reasonable. You can't just go, well, I'll do 80 over on this because I want it that badly. This isn't our forever home. This is kind of, this is our starter home. Even though we are getting close to 30, this is our starter home. So I believe we offered, I think it was 40 over on this house. Because I mean, we went home that night and Corey was like literally like crying, like I'm in love with it. We're never gonna get it. So. We had the means, I knew we could do it, so I got super aggressive. I looked at house values, I do all that type of research. That was kind of my role in this whole house hunting process. And I don't remember if it was that next night or the night after that, we did not get it. And offering 40 over on a house and not getting it was enough for me to decide that this is just not the right time. I mean, I know people go, you're throwing away money when you're just renting but this place has everything that we need and we're still saving money. So yeah, this was an unfortunate end to our house hunting process. It was a real eye opener. I mean, I think we probably put offers on, I don't know, seven to 10 houses in our entire time doing it. Our poor realtor, we really put her through hell. But yeah, that was, that was the nail in the coffin. I don't know what it will be like when we start looking again. I, I believe this should be the last of the house videos because this was the last house we looked at. So hopefully we have more of them in the near future. I was just telling Corey today, it feels like we're outgrowing this place already. Um, but yeah, for any of you that are going through this also and are in the same position as Corey and I, I wish you the best of luck. It's not easy, it's heartbreaking, it's demoralizing, but we are still very hopeful. We increased the price range on our search, nothing that we can't afford, but we're gonna definitely look at nicer houses that we feel we can not have to overbid $40,000 on and still lose, but that's our house hunting journey. I got them a birthday card. 
what? All the wedding cards were so cheesy. Yeah, they're all and cheesy. Then it was there was one that was like sounded like it was like a first birthday or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, it's their first time together. And it's it almost, not their first time together. First time married, whatever. <laughs> You're Either like, way. for your second marriage, I'll get you a happy well, second was, birthday. This is her second marriage. Oh. I didn't think about that. <laughs> it was their first marriage together. Um, so they thought it was funny. Well, that's good. I go for the moths. The moths. YouTube video finally, finally comes out, it's going to be the most disjointed <laughs> I video know. of all time. I don't know if this is three videos that we've recorded or half of a video. Well, we'll have to see like how all. long the clips are going to be. But just thought we'd say hi because we haven't said hi in a while. I think the last time we talked, we were going to look at the ranch house along with a hundred other people. And it was really stressing me out to be in there. Like I couldn't turn the sink and step in the shower and open the garage door and do all the things that I would normally do if it was just us because I didn't want people looking at me all weird. So now we gave up. Yeah, we gave we, we gave up. It stressed Corey out enough to where she said, We're done. <laughs> it's just not the right market for us. The houses are way too expensive. That house we were looking at was, I keep banging this on the window, I'm so sorry. Was listed at 250 and it went for 80 over. Not 80. I, that's what you said in your text. No, I said if we, no. <laughs> that is what you said and that's no, what I I've been telling we people. Offered 280. <laughs> I thought you said, you said it went, I'll look at the text. It went, you said it went 80 over asking no closing they waived the inspection and we just so we're always getting outbid and listen that house they're gonna lose money on that house when they go to sell it because it's not gonna be worth what they bought it for in however many years again and seven percent interest rates which i know to Corey me, doesn't think about but Andrew, i don't know what that means Andrew, who does the math he thinks about these things so yeah we're just we're just hanging out watching from the sidelines what the market's gonna do if you're selling your house kudos to you because you're probably making a lot of money right now yeah, but then they just gotta buy another overpriced house and then you won't have that money but they will get the house yep so i don't know do you got anything else to share we'll talk to you guys in two weeks <laughs> Ha, <laughs>